Thank you, Nick. Illinois residents who own an assault weapon are required to register it with the state, but so far, only 2,500 people have done it. The deadline to register is January 1st of next year or Alexandria, they could face charges. That's right, AJ, but whether those charges are enforced remains to be seen. Our Carson Gordy met with law enforcement and has more on how the new law is developing. Assault weapons can no longer be sold in Illinois, but guns purchased before the law's start date are grandfathered in. They remain legal as long as they are registered. Purchased prior to the effective date of the current law, we register people who own guns. We don't register guns until now. And now we are registering, um, we are now registering guns. Those who don't register the guns could face penalties. The first offense is a class one misdemeanor with up to a year in jail. The second offense is a class three felony. At Thursday's Illinois State Police public hearing about the law, General Counsel Suzanne Bond says it's up to the individual state's attorney whether they enforce the law. But Christian County State's Attorney John McWard said he can only prosecute what the police bring to him. As it relates to the reports, I have to receive the reports first before I can look it over. I trust them. If they believe somebody should be charged, uh, I'll go along with it. In Illinois, there are 2.4 million Foyt card owners, but it's unknown how many of them own assault weapons. Christian County Sheriff's Chief Deputy Jim Baker says the county doesn't plan to make home visits to check if Christian County residents registered their guns. Currently, where do you go? It's a needle in the haystack. You know, I know individuals, including, you know, family members that's got FOID cards, but they don't own a weapon. So you can't base it off of FOID card alone. Baker says the state could do a better job of notifying gun owners to register their weapons, like how they inform citizens of paying taxes. To this date, there's been no notification being sent out by the state to inform citizens that own those that they're required to, you know, register them. Thank you, Carson. A federal court upheld the Illinois assault weapons ban and officials say the law is expected to reach the Supreme Court in the future.